First, uh, this is a quick topic um, on using Lambdas and shared pointers. I'm going to go pretty fast because I think most people understand kind of shared pointers. And Lambdas are kind of new, and they actually change the way you design. Um, so it's a really uh, big feature um, to the language. So at first, I thought Lambdas were really ugly. It looked just like, oh my god, I don't want these like these like code turds all over my code base, and it's just you know it looks weird and it's arrow at the end. Like, what's going on here? But in the end, it turns out to be Super, super powerful, especially when um, you know some of the things I used to do by hand with like making a template uh, struct that would take a pointer to a function that you could then call, and all the stuff went to like do what Scope Guard does, which is basically put in code that you want to run when it goes out of scope to do things like cleaning up and exception safety and batch processing, like right here. Like maybe I did something and I determine if I need to do a game engine update or something like that. So I use scope guard a lot, which I didn't write. It's out there. Alexander Jescu did a big um, PowerPoint thing on it and wrote it. Um, so go find it if you don't use it yet. Um, Share pointers, I think probably most people are familiar with. It's in Boost. Um, I'm a big fan of Boost. And so therefore, it's C++11. Um, I use them a lot. In fact, I barely ever do new anymore. Um, and uh, But you know, it's used in games, it's used in real-time products, so don't be nervous about them. Um, but one tip is to make sure you use the make share because it, it makes it a more efficient use for a share pointer. Um, now, where I really gets, gets fun is when I combine the, the pointers and the um, lambdas. So if I say want to do something and I want to do something in the future, a little bit of work, um, so normally you could take a lambda and you can run, you can queue that function somewhere, um, but you really need to validate code to make sure it can work. So imagine like I have an object and I want to render it next frame. Um, I want that code to execute sometime in the future without having to like keep track of it, right? So maybe I make a, an object that takes a pointer to a function and then I, I can, you know, right here in the execute you can see I can just run the function, right? Now this gets pretty cool when you apply it to um, when I can invoke it on a thread. So, for example, I can take a piece of code, I can say, I want you to execute at you know, 10 milliseconds of the future, 100 milliseconds of the future, whenever I want to. Um, and, or if I say execute right now, I can do a check to make sure you're in the right thread. And if you're not, dispatch it to the right thread so it can be executed in order. So it's a really handy way for me to um, do concurrency without having to do a whole bunch of like all over the code, be like, what thread am I? Am I doing this and that and things like that? I can just say, you know what? I know I have a bit of work. I need to invoke it on that thread. I'm in the networking thread and I need to like dispatch it over to the, the simulation thread or whatever it is. Um, this is really handy. So the actual use of it looks more like this. So with the weak pointer, a weak pointer is, um, does not hold on to an, an object to keep it in memory. So basically you do something where you say like, you check it and you say, if this object is still alive and then I can use it. So um, that's where you see the game object weak. I'll like get a shared pointer of myself. I'll invoke something on a thread, and the one here says, like, you know, just make sure it doesn't occur right now, even if you're on the same thread. Um, when this executes, it will lock and make sure the object still exists, and then it will do the rendering. So, um, super useful pattern to do all over the place. In fact, I, I, I turned my single player game into a multiplayer game by using this type of this, this methodology by simulating latency and lag by saying, oh, everything I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take all this work and then dispatch it as if it was to do in the future. So um, another handy piece of the, where it said one there and I did you know one millisecond, you put random ranges so you can simulate problems. So that's pretty handy. So thanks.